Thank you, Pebumi. I'm Chim Kim from Sejong. My talk is about rapid atrial appendage closure in patients with atrial fibrillation. As you know, atrial fibrillation in famous is uh, poor is high uh, stroke risk. Strokes of atrial fibrillation are more severe and often leaves significant sickly. With the aging trend, the number of patients with atrial fibrillation suffering from major cardioembolic events such as stroke will continue to increase. We usually prescribe oral anticoagulants to actively lower the risk of stroke and death in patients with atrial fibrillation. However, we should already consider the excessive bleeding of the oral anticoagulants. Patients with high stroke risk are most likely to have increased bleeding risk at the same time. In fact, bleeding events are not uncommon complications in patients taking anticoagulants, and many patients have conditions changing to take anticoagulants. Although no one lowers the bleeding risk more than warfarin, the risk of bleeding complications in patients with oral anticoagulation is quite sizable. Especially for patients with high risk of stroke and bleeding events, we need to take a tailored approach to avoid complications while taking the best treatment. For example, what options can we offer the patients who have experienced major bleeding events while taking the wax? In the case, we can recommend rapid atrial appendage closure for a patient with very high bleeding risk or contraindications to anticoagulant therapy. As you know, the rapid atrial is the most important culprit of cardioembolic source. The appendage occlusion isolates the appendage from systemic circulation. Many researchers have deployed, developed many devices and tested their clinical benefits. Thanks to their efforts, appendage occlusion can offer an effective treatment option for patients with high breathing risk or those who have already experienced major breathing events. We have occluders that have survived the long-term clinical validation. Most of all, the watchman reduced the risk of hemorrhagic stroke risk and moreover mortality risk by avoiding anticoagulants in vulnerable patients with atrial fibrillation. If we experience hands, appendage occlusion is safer for most patients. Real-world data demonstrate a significant lower instance of complications. Even in outcome trials using DUAX, as well as Warfarin, occlusion shows a comparable performance to oral anticoagulation. Recently, the Prague 17 trial showed probed the efficacy of the occlusion, and the occlusion reduced the non procedural bleeding even up to four years. Like all the watchmen, new occluder excellent, excellent clinical trials are reported of one after another. For example, Watchman Plex, an updated version of the older version Watchman, recently presented an improved safety profile, and the Amulet reported more competent selling. Now let's look at major occluders characteristics. In country, we can use three occluders in Korea. The Watchman Plex is trying to replace the older Watchman device, which has been used for a long time. And the, uh, the Amulet uh, is also widely used, and the Rembly device has been recently introduced. Uh, the Watchman verified through a long history of clinical evidence. It has a characteristic shape in which a permeable pit membrane covers the front of the jellyfish-like nitinous uh, frame. It is available from uh, five sizes from 21 to 33 millimeters, and we close appendage with a specially designed 14 French double curve access sheath. The older version of Watchman has an open structure with a pointed tip. It has a potential to damage to, uh, to the appendage during the procedure. Fixating anchors in the strut make this device too hard to recapture, so we may encounter problems in repositioning. Also, because of this device is similar in diameter and length, uh, so they are ineligible throat uh, appendages with large orifice, resulting in defective sealing. To answer these shortcomings, the Watchman Plex adopts a closed end system with a device height shorter than each diameter. With the Plex, we can only partially deploy the occluder from the sheath to create a less traumatic pore shaped structure like the amulet. The partially unpolyed ball shaped structure has made the optimal position we, so we can place the Watchman Plex easier on the ostium. And it makes the procedure safer without pushing the access sheets into the distal lobes and minimize the possibility of the damage to the appendage. 
The watch me products has newly introduced to Korea in, in, uh, this year, and with more metal structures and more covered extended PT membrane. This new device creates two rows of J-shaped anchors to allow for more secure appendage occlusion. The Prex device has a plaid and recessed screw hub, reducing the potential risk of the device related thrombosis. The most important benefit of Plex is that device size is more flexible than the uh, previous version, so making procedures more secure. Especially, we can even work with an appendage with a smaller steam, which was challenging for older devices. Contrast to Watchman, uh, well, Emirates has a rope and a disc structure. The rope acts as an anchor in the ostium, and the 6 to 10 stabilizing wires are attached, so it is stably fixed in the ostium landing zone, about 1 cm from the orifice. A metallic waste connects the rope and disc, and the head like the disc is competently in the orifice. Emulate has a shorter rope length than the watchman, so a larger cord can be applied to appendage with a shallow depth. We can also make a closed ball shape in unfolding the device to ensure uh, optimal positioning more safely. Next, learn about imaging studies for successful procedures. Pre-procedure imaging is essential to understand better the appendage structures, uh, so which determines the success of a su uh, procedure in most cases. As you know, the shape of the wrapped uh, appendage varies from uh, person to person. The size and shape of the orifice and uh, appendage length and body bending and the uh, shape of the distal lobes can vary every appendage. Consequently, the uh, procedure can be challenging, especially in the patients with anatomic variants of the chicken wing type. So in, uh, sometimes we may not obtain acceptable regions. And above all, almost a quarter room like round perks, and, but most appendage orifices are oval-shaped. Failure to select an appropriate device based on limiting imaging studies may result in suboptimal procedures. In appendage occlusion, uh, TEE, transverse partial echocardiography, plays a vital role in the pre-procedural planning and imaging guidance during the procedure. In particular, echocardiography is essential in selecting devices, types, and size. For example, to determine the watchman device size, it requires to check the T from several angles to evaluate the appendage anatomy and the radius diameter and the appendage depth. The 3D examination can also provide valuable information for accurate preoperative evaluation of the orifice and interoperative procedure guiding. The imaging workup for the emulate is analogous to the watchman's method. However, unlike watchman who draws an imaginary vertical line from the circumflex artery to the uh, uh, device sizing, uh, the emulate size is mainly determined from the uh, landing zone just to from the one centimeter from the orifice. Emulate disc diameter can be estimated from the circumflex artery to the primary vein ridge, and uh, for the emulate, the hose rib uh, uh, rope length is shorter than the watchman, so we usually measure the appendage depth to the perpendicular to the uh, landing zone and use it for the device sizing. Just said that CT scans have not become the standard in the pre procedure planning for TABI in patients with severe atic stenosis. Experts have recently emphasized the importance of CD as much as echocardiography imaging in the appendage occlusion. TEE inevitably tends to underestimate of the orifice size even when measured from multiple angles. In contrast, CT scan greater have accurate sizing because it informs the perimeter and long and short diameter of the oval-shaped orifice. We can quickly unwind the detailed anatomy with the cardiac CT. Also, advanced image processing allows us to make patients' specific simulation for structural intervention. Some experienced centers use 3D navigation to obtain important information on a transeptal puncture, guiding cut selection, and optimal size and positioning. In addition to the cardiac CT, experienced hands actively adopted intracardiac echocardiography or ICE instead of convention TEE. Some experts only use ice during the procedure because it enables occlusion without general anesthesia while obtaining image equivalent to TEE. 
As with most interventions for structural heart disease, uh, thorough evaluation by the so-called imager is critical for successful procedure. And active communication between the imager and the interventionist is often encouraged. However, the, uh, for most interventionists, the most important information to determine the size and device position is obtained from the proscopic guidance at the time of the procedure. Usually, right anterior oblique caudal view and the aliocranial view uh, used as working views for uh, watchmen and ambulance respectively. If the left atrial pressure is adequate, device sizing based on the large measurements in the landing zone is less likely to pay in most cases. Now let's look at some practical points for successful procedures. Most of all, it's imperative to, uh, to safely perform the transceptor puncture in the proper location for successful performance. To avoid critical, complica critical complications, such as unintentional cardiac perforation, experts recommend not relying on exclusively on proscopic and always seeking help from ICE or TE when performing transceptor puncture. As you know, uh, in most cases, in, in, uh, appendages have uh, uh, appendages in the superior and anterior portion, and so we transeptal puncture should be approached imperial and posterior to uh, post ovaries to uh, easier access. Thus, following the echocardiography is necessary to select the proper puncture site, prevent complications, and facilitate the procedure. You should check the bicabular and short axis view while the T is simultaneously to ensure uh, an accurate puncture site and the procedure's safety. Infrequently, patients with unique appendage anatomy may need a steerable deliverable sheath. After transceptor uh, puncture and adequate anticoagulation, the older version watchman had to deploy the device uh, by inserting the insert access sheets to the uh, distal lobe as deep as possible into the distal lobe to secure the landing zone. However, the right day emulet, the updated plex, can make a ball shape by partially deploying the device in addition to the unsheath method. And we can also use the advancement, advancement method to push sheath and unpull the device from the sheath. After deploying device in the optimal position, we also need to check the pass criteria for the plex device before detaching the device from the core wire. It's necessary to check First, uh, whether the device is well kept in the appendage, whether an adequately oversized device is selected for adequate compression, and whether there is no significant power, leakage, uh, power device leakage. We can use the amulet to make a ball shape, partially deploy the configuration like uh, uh, watchman plex for a safe procedure. Experts usually recommend setting up the landing zone from about one centimeter from the orifice and selecting the device with a size of two or four millimeters larger than the maximum diameter of the landing zone. After applying the rope to the optimal landing zone that is covering the orifice is then deployed. At this time, it's usually recommended the rope and discard on the same axis on the same uh, connecting leg is not to bend too much, and the disc should be able to cover the appendage or piece sufficiently. As you uh, shown, as you shown, uh, uh, device uh, we can talk, uh, we can use talk test to the emulate before the pilot detachment. And so, and then a string should be checked with proscopy and the echocardiography called opera exam to check any significant part of the device leakage. Pair device leakage is an important factor for long term outcome. Conventionally, the procedure success is considered by checking whether the leakage uh, less than 5 millimeters. However, recent study reported that even a tiny leakage of less than 5 millimeters have a prognosis impact, so it's important to achieve complete occlusion as much as possible during the procedure. Experts emphasize that incomplete screening can slow device re-endocellularization and ultimately increase the risk of recurrent stroke. Imaging surveillance for device thrombosis, which is strongly associated with the risk of thromboembolic events, is also important. Appendage occlusion is more straightforward procedure than it looks, but uh, however, we must analyze individual patient's anatomy comprehensively in advance to ensure the procedure success. 
let's uh, wrap up my talk. Uh, two point, uh, LA offers a safe, effective treatment uh, alternative or adjuvant for HLP relation patient with elevated bleeding risk and for AP patient will be able to benefit from atrial uh, occlusion with multimodality imaging. Thank you for your attention.